Assalamualaikum and welcome to the video. I am Ahmad Ridwan bin Mamat from Physics Unit KMPK. In this video, we are going to go through experiment 4, the rotational of rigid body. What we hope you to get from this video is that you can appreciate the important the practical session in facilitating your learning of physics hence making the learning meaningful because some of the apparatus might be foreign for you we introduce them in the video reading the procedure with no background knowledge could be confusing and intimidating so we go through the setup process for you and we hope the procedure will make more sense to you. We are not going through the procedure step by step, but rather we are giving you the overview of the experiment and some tips to help you with the experiment. Make sure you have with you the lab manual and jotter book with you. You are going to need your jotter to jot down important information and tips as you go along with the video. Before going to the lab session, make sure you have the objective, a brief summary of the procedure, and table for data collection ready in the jotter. You can also add sketches to procedure as a visual tool to help you with the procedure. It does not need to be perfect or beautiful, just keep it loose. In this experiment, we are going to determine the moment inertia of a flywheel. Open the manual and go to the figure 4.2 in the manual. Look at how the falling high h is drawn in the diagram. The falling high is measured from the softboard to the slotted mass and it is kept constant throughout the experiment. R is the internal diameter of axle. The flywheel rotates freely about a horizontal axis. The gravitational potential energy is transferred into translational kinetic energy, rotational kinetic energy, and work done by friction. Based on the Newton's second law for linear motion, the resultant force in Y axis Summation Fy is equal to Ma. Hence, Mg minus T is equal to Ma. Rearranging the equation, we got T is equal to Mg minus Ma is equal to M in bracket G minus A. Based on Newton's second law of rotational motion, submission torque is equal to I alpha so that clockwise torque by tension T is TR and tau is anti-clockwise frictional torque. So TR minus tau is equal to I alpha. Rearranging the equation, we got alpha is equal in bracket R over I times T minus in bracket tau divided by i. The mass, manipulative variable, affect the falling time, the responding variable. Hence, the tension, linear acceleration, and angular acceleration are also changed. From the equation that we have established earlier, we can plot the angular acceleration against the tension. If we compare the equation, with a straight line equation, the angular acceleration will take the y axis, the tension will take the x axis, and the value of C is friction torque divided by moment inertia. The graph should start at negative value of y axis, and the graph is going to be a straight line graph. When plotting your graph, make sure that the graph occupy at least 80% of the graph paper. Coming back to the straight line equation, the gradient of the graph will be equal to R 
over I. Choose two points on the line and draw a right angle triangle connecting the two points. Make sure the size of the triangle at least 50% from the size of the graph. The gradient of the line can be calculated using the equation m is equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. The value of the gradient m is equal to r over i. By rearranging the equation, the value of i is equal to r over m. You are going to compare the value obtained from the graph with the theoretical value of the moment initial of the flywheel. Before we continue with the procedure, I want you to pause the video, open the manual and go to the procedure section of the experiment. After you have read through the manual, you can come back again to the video. Hi, welcome back. If you have read the manual, these two statements will make a lot of sense to you. In the experiment, you are going to manipulate the mass of slotted mass and then record the following time. Finally, before going to the apparatus and set up video, we are going to present you with the table for data collection. Record the height and the radius of the axle first. We have number of reading. The next column is the manipulated variable mass. Record time at least twice and find the average value. You have to calculate the acceleration A, the tension T, and angular acceleration alpha by using the given formula. Make sure you convert the unit for high, radius, and mass to the SI unit. Then only you will get the A, T and alpha in SI unit. And make sure to enter the uncertainty for your measurement in the measurement column. Make sure you write the calculated value of A, T and alpha in standard form and write the exponential power in the bracket if present. Let's go to the apparatus and set up. This is flywheel and axle, which is connected together by a rod. We have a vernier caliper, a G-clamp. This is slotted mass hanger with mass 20 gram, and several pieces of 20 gram slotted masses. String. and a stopwatch. Clamp the base of flywheel with a G-clamp at the edge of table. Measure the internal diameter of the axle by using a vernier caliper. Then, place a wooden plane on the floor. Cut about 1.2 meter of string at the one end of the string make a knot tie another end of the string to the axle tightly and then Bring the knot close to the axle. Hang the hanger on the knot. Then measure the height of the hanger from the wooden plane. This height should be constant throughout the experiment. Hold the hanger and Put the slotted mass gently to avoid impulsive force. Keep adding the slotted mass.
until the flywheel start to rotate freely. Release the slotted mass and simultaneously start the stopwatch. Stop the stopwatch when the slotted mass hit the surface of wooden plane. 